In 1995, Australian costume designer Lizzie Gardner made a splash at the 67th Academy Awards with her unconventional attire. She wore a floor-length gown crafted from 254 expired American Express gold cards, creating a shimmering spaghetti strap ensemble with gold underwear and matching platforms. This memorable moment in Oscars fashion history occurred as Gardner was nominated for Best Costume Design for The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Originally, Gardner envisioned a credit card dress for the film's cross-dressing protagonists, but companies declined. Instead, she created a flip-flop dress for the movie. At the Oscars, host David Letterman humorously remarked on the publicity for American Express, the company granted permission and provided over 300 cards for Gardner and designer Salvador Perez to fashion into a gown within 12 hours. Approximately a month later, an American Express spokesperson clarified the approval for the Oscars, but not the movie, stating Gardner was dressing herself, not a character. The company acquired the dress from Gardner, with the exact price undisclosed. Gardner's credit card dress was seen as a satirical critique of Hollywood excess, symbolizing wealth and status. Opinions varied, with some praising the bold fashion choice and others, including Time magazine, deeming it tacky. The dress's impact endured, with American label Vaquera paying tribute in 2017, featuring a reimagined version on the runway. A replica crafted by Gardner and American Express fetched $12,150 at a Christie's charity auction. In a 2017 interview, Gardner acknowledged the mixed reactions but reflected on the enduring legacy of her iconic creation. Now housed in the National Gallery of Victoria, Gardner's unconventional choice serves as a reminder that significant impact can be made on Hollywood's grand stage without being a household name. The dress's enduring legacy also highlights the priceless publicity American Express garnered from this unique and memorable fashion extravaganza.